LAPD continues to search for 17 suspects caught on camera Sunday ransacking and robbing a South L.A. Nike store. Police say the group got away with some $12,000 in merchandise. This as a new select committee has been formed in the state assembly working to identify policy solutions to addressing this rising retail theft issue. State Assembly Member Rick Chavez Burr chairs the new bipartisan select committee and he is here live to talk about it. Welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so how is this committee going to work? So there's 11 members. They were selected from across the state uh, and we have representation from the areas of the state that are experiencing the highest amounts of retail theft. Uh, it's bipartisan, so both Democrats and Republicans. We'll hold a number of hearings. The first one will be in Sacramento in early December, and then we'll have other hearings in other parts of the state so we can get local input. Uh, really going to bring all the stakeholders together, uh, our law enforcement partners, retailers, both large and small, uh, people that represent the workers and criminal justice reform advocates, and really take a deep dive into this and try to pull together some recommendations that we'll bring to the new speaker and uh, members of the legislature to try to tackle this issue. And so, obviously, some of the areas that are hardest hit Los Angeles, San Francisco, we see the images out of both areas. So what is, you know, one legislative fix that you think could help? Well, I th you know, a lot of the what we're hearing is that there are problems getting to um, those folks that are doing repeated uh, thefts in stores. Um, if you talk to a lot of the retailers, they'll say that they know that there's a couple hundred people that are over and over again hitting store after store after store, and the law doesn't really allow uh, those thefts to sort of be aggregated and, to, and, and, um, and prosecuted. But one of the questions I have, and I think that the, that the committee will have is, is the problem the fact that we don't have, that our laws aren't tough enough, or is the problem that they're not being enforced? And what are the, and if that's the case, what are the impediments to, to doing more enforcement? You know, the, uh, there are a lot of people that blame Prop 47, which was uh, something that lowered the threshold in terms of how much uh, you needed to take uh, and made everything under $950 that you steal a misdemeanor instead of a felony. Um, and then there's a lot of people, business owners, that say it's just a slap on the wrist. People aren't being prosecuted as they should. Do you think that it's time to relook at Prop 47? I think we're going to look at everything. I mean, everything's on the table. Uh, nothing is, uh, I, I'm not, we're not going to assume that Prop 47 needs to be refined, but if Prop 47 is something that we need to do to get to these, re these organized crime rings, we'll look at uh, recommendations that may look to some amendments to Prop 47. You know, California, if you look at the history of the state, it seems like there's these dramatic pendulum swings mm -hmm. where maybe we lock up too many people <laughs> and then we lock up not enough people and we go through this. Where do you think we are on that? Do you think that we right now are not being tough enough on crime? We, we obviously have a problem here that we've got to address. And so, um, you know, uh, Prop 47, I think the theory behind that was that we were actually locking up people for very minor activities and filling our prisons for, um, you know, for someone that was doing something that was very minor. Uh, on the other hand, we have smash and grabs in which people are coming into stores now. It's resulting in store closures. It's re resulting in people feeling unsafe. It's resulting in shopper inconvenience where shoppers are having to wait in front of locked cases. Um, and we know that something has changed because uh, retail theft is, grow is growing. It's in, um, in Orange County and a number of counties. It's like 50% yeah. higher than it was pre-pandemic. Um, interestingly, though, shop shoplifting has gone down. And some of the questions that we have are, is the reason why, and shoplifting is basically theft that's under $950. Is, that, is the reason for that that it's not being prosecuted or is that it's happening less? And that's one of the things we're going to dive into. Do you understand why there's a lot of people that feel like there aren't enough consequences for this? They look at those images, people standing around, nothing I can do. Those people walk out with $12,000. And then it makes a lot of people feel like, I don't want to go shopping. Yeah. This could happen at any time while I'm in there. I don't want to be a part of it. And you see security guards all over the place now. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I think the public and myself included have gotten to the point where we understand that we've got to figure this out. Uh, it's not acceptable what's happening. It's not acceptable, you know, what uh, what uh, members of the public are experiencing. Um, and we really need to sort of figure out how to how to address this. I mean, one of the things that's ironic is 
uh, this is also harming our retail establishments and basically our neighborhoods where we've got store closures and the vibrancy of our streets and people are going and buying stuff online. And the reality is sometimes what's happening is you can't find the shampoo in the store because it's locked up. So you leave, you go and buy it online, and you may be buying something that was fenced through online re organized retail theft. Yeah. And so we've got to also look at those issues. Yeah. Who's fencing this stuff? Do we have right. to focus on... Um, the online retail sure. establishments and then the people that are organizing it. All right, well, let's stay in touch as you go forward on this because obviously people are very focused on this, especially in the holiday season. Assemblymember, thanks for coming in here. Great to see you. Thank you.